Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. The Summoner's Market is something that has always been a bit of an odd insertion this year to me. Now it makes sense why they did it, it actually makes dollars not sense why they did it. Because it gives Kabam so much more money and gives unit store opportunities that have bonuses with every tier leading of course to an extra 310 units for the Odin versus the in-game purchase. And 310 difference is literally a $10 US bonus, if you want to look at it that way, for uh, several things that um, come in handy. I want to say this when it comes to these offers. We talk all the time over the years for gifting when it comes to like Apple gift cards. And this is essentially like a 10% cashback bonus on a gift card every day if you buy the most expensive thing. Now, of course, don't buy the Odin every day. In fact, I would still recommend you only buy unit offers when there are crazy good bonuses attached to them. Now, this is, of course, coming from an arena addict who gets most of his units via, if not donations, also arena play. So it's hard for me to exactly be objective about this. But the most valuable thing that comes for the lowest amount of dollars depending on your progression level, is the Daily Special. And although I'm not logged in right now, we know the Paragon Daily Special on this site is unchanged Monday through Sunday and offers a Tier 6 Class Catalyst Fragment Selector, which is crazy rare, and a Paragon Crystal that will most likely give me and no one else nothing but four and maybe a few five stars. With that being said, the big question is, how is this store going to work if... Apple wins this big lawsuit that's been in the background for months now. Well, we got a uh, update on that, and I'm going to shout out a friend of mine because I was at my fifth day of training in a row this week, and my man Joe uh, Palatsky sent me a DM via, of all things, Facebook. And pulled up this very important article that I'm trying to flip, but I guess I can't. So we're just going to play it vertically, even though it's going to look a little awkward in the aspect ratio. Epic loses bid to make Apple change its App Store payment rules right now. The Supreme Court rejected a request to immediately enforce an on-hold injunction. Shout out Chris Holt or at Chris Holt, Associated Press author of this article. Epic Games has lost an attempt to force Apple to change its App Store payment practices sooner rather than later. The Fortnite maker asked the Supreme Court to overturn a U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruling that delayed an injunction against Apple over App Store rules. However, Justice Alina Kagan denied the request without providing an explanation. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals originally upheld the injunction in April. However, it suspended the injunction in July so Apple could take the case to the Supreme Court. Following a blockbuster trial between Apple and Epic Games in 2021, I can't believe it's already two years old, a lower court judge ruled that Apple violated California's unfair competition law by blocking third-party developers from direct, uh, directing users to alternative payment options. Make no mistake about it. The Kabam website store is an alternative payment option that gives the players 10% back of what they get as a much bigger cut of our money. I think it saves them 30%, so it's like they keep 20 and give us back 10 if you buy the 100 Odin. It's less if you scale down that math from the $5, $10, $30, $50 offer. For the last three years, the companies have been battling over the issue of in-app payments for iOS. Epic raised the ire of Apple and Google when it told mobile Fortnite players they'd get a discount on the in-game V-Bucks currency if they bypass the iOS and Android payment systems. Apple and Google take up a, to a 30% cut of in-app transactions on iOS and Android. Boy, I wonder why that sounds so familiar. I guess it's just going to be forever labeled a mystery. The mobile platform holders swiftly yanked Fortnite from their respective app stores. Epic sued them both, and the legal battles are still rumbling on. So no, make no mistake about it. This Kabam store is a direct threat to both Google Play and Apple keeping... MCOC in their store. And I do think if Kabam had a choice, they would rather shut down their website than lose the ability to download the game. I think if you couldn't download the game or you couldn't update it, that would spell certain doom 
for the community and the game. But they're playing with fire right now, especially given how this latest court ruling went. Google case in which match groups involves plaintiff is set to go to trial this November. Regardless of what happens in the U.S., Apple and Google are already being forced to open up their platforms to third-party payment systems in certain markets, such as North Korea and the Netherlands. It has also been reported that Apple plans to allow third-party app stores on the iPhone as soon as next year, in large part to comply with incoming European Union rules. Epic is already prepared for that, as its own mobile app store is ready to go. So, could Kabam be behind the scenes doing the same thing? Could they be giving us users a secondary option, maybe directly from the Kabam store, to download the newest patch so that we weren't having to go through Apple or Google Play. Maybe, I don't know. I am not a coder. I do not want to pretend that I am a coder because that would be so far from the truth, it's ridiculous. But I do know that several people who play this game and watch this channel are in the coding knowledge-based industry and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Either way, huge legal news for the future of MCOC. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.